This week, the Performance TV crew explores a great new convertible truck cab. A simple way for storing Jeep tops and enhancements on classic cars. All right here, coming up on Performance TV, presented by Topco. Hello and welcome to Performance TV presented by Top Code. Classic cars, we love them, they're our projects, but without reproduction parts, we would be lost. Mike is in the house from Auto Metal Direct, going to tell us a little bit about some of the things you do to help the person who's got a project that they're working on get the perfect parts. What are we seeing here today? Well, today we've got a few different things here to show that we make items that besides just uh, body panels, but uh, we do specialize in body panels for old uh, muscle cars and classic pickup trucks. Um, we've got a grill here for a Chevy truck that we've recently made, and uh, it's licensed through GM, so it has the bow tie on it. And uh, it's a little departure from some of the items that we've normally made, being a plastic grill, but I think uh, it goes along with the restoration market just fine. Well, I like to think about the car or vehicle that's out there rusting in a field and someone wants to save it. And what do they do then? Like half of the vehicle is there, and that's where you guys come in. Yeah, we really help because we're kind of the foundation of the restoration. You need body panels whether you're doing a restoration or building a drag car, race car, or whatever you're going to do. So we provide quality sheet metal that fits the cars real well. We do all test fitting and everything and then uh, it gives you a good start on your project. So you mentioned the grill here, uh, square body Chevrolet pickup truck or round line, so popular. Once upon a time, the farm truck rusting away in the field. Now people want to cruise them on the road and you guys have several parts for them. Yeah, it's great. We're developing a lot of new stuff for those. There, there's been a crash parts market in the past, which was kind of uh, insurance parts that were not really restoration quality. So we're going back and making new tooling to make the parts just like if you were going to restore the truck back to brand new. So why and how are yours different? Because there's a lot of them out there. Well, the main thing is that we do test fitting on every single part of ourselves in our own shop, and we make it out of the correct grade metal. And it's uh, new tooling, so it's all digitized, which really helps to get it accurate. And then after we test fit it, we put it out on the market, and it's, it's going pretty well for us. So the Chevrolet pickup trucks, new business, you mentioned Mopars. And of course, we've got this Galaxy behind us. This is kind of cool. What am I looking at here? This is a 63 and a half Galaxy Fastback, and it's one of our new projects. We're doing 63 and 64 Galaxy parts, along with uh, Fairlane parts and Torino parts. But uh, everything you see here in black is actually our parts. This was not a restoration of a car, but it's a scratch built that we use for display in our showroom. Okay, so show me some of the different parts that are available. We're seeing it all together, but maybe someone doesn't need the whole thing. They just need one or two. Theirs is gone, theirs is rusted out, and they can call you in order. So show me what we're looking at. Sure, and, and a lot of people get confused. They think that they've got a little bit of rust in their quarter panel. So we make this quarter panel here, but a lot of times if you have rust in the quarter panel, they'll, lip, they'll rust in the bottom there and the, in the lip. But if you have rust in those areas, you probably need this outer wheelhouse, and you probably need this trunk drop-off or trunk extension. So we uh, sell those for most every car that we make panels for. Oh, that's tremendous. Now, I also notice there's uh, the holes for the trim as well, and there's square holes. I would imagine that would be tough to put in uh, if they weren't already there. True. To get them in a straight line and the fact that they're square, that's really tough to punch those out. There are more holes in it, but of course, this is a cutaway so that you can see the inner structure of this particular car. But we put all the holes in there for the XL trim, and uh, all, the, all the Fastbacks use that trim, so we decided to put the holes in it for people. Plenty of Mustangs out on the road. Not a lot of Galaxies. I like the fact that you're building parts for these cars. Well, we hope to get more of them on the road. And the people who are out there reproducing cars, father-son projects, people in the business, it's got to be great to know that they've got someplace reliable to go. Now, you guys make your parts or design your parts in-house. What else do we need to know about the quality of these parts compared to some of the other stuff out there? Well, first off, we license everything with the original OEs. So any part that we make that's our own part is a licensed product, and it has to meet certain standards. So I think you can trust that our products are very good quality. Well, that is tremendous. So the Galaxies, the Chevrolet pickup trucks, you've got licensed parts. What are some of the other cars that you cover? Well, we started off in Mopar about 14 years ago doing all the A, B, and E body cars. We expanded into Chevrolet cars, and uh, then we got into Chevy pickup trucks, 47 to 87. And then, like I said, our most recent developments are these Ford parts. And we're also doing Ford trucks from uh, 49 to 48 to 79. You said it. You're a Mopar guy at the beginning. 
Yeah, we started off at Mopar. Um, I'm actually the oddball that collect AMCs at the company, but, uh, but yeah, we start off at Mopar. <laughs> well, th there you go. So I would say that people at home who are seeing something that they have been looking should hit your website. What do you recommend, though, if someone's putting together a project, how do they take stock in what they need? Well, probably the best thing is to get a body man to look at their vehicle because people see a little bit of rust, but usually rust goes a lot farther. So we recommend that somebody has a shop look at their car for them and help them out. We do have a lot of people that try to do this at home, and it is possible, but mostly uh, shops do this because it's, it's, it's body work and called body work for a reason. It is a lot of work. But if you're going to go the extra mile, if you're going to go through all this, to bring a car back, you might as well use good parts. Oh, true. We're, like I said, we're the base of the project. It's basically the foundation. And if you don't start with a good body, you're never going to have a nice restoration. And that's the moral of the story. We're just getting started here on Performance TV presented by Top Coat. If you like what you're seeing here, hit their website, and we'll be back after this. The Hennessy Venom GT is the fastest production car in the world. It set the record at Kennedy Space Center in 2014. How fast did the twin turbo V8 supercar go? Was it 230 miles an hour, 240, 260, or 270? Believe it or not, an incredible 270 miles an hour. More Performance TV right after this. Performance TV presented by Topcoat is brought to you by rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. NH Oil Undercoating, the official oil-based rust prevention system. Checkered flag tire beads, tires and balance beads to your door. And by Top Coat. Don't just coat it, top coat it. Welcome back to Performance TV presented by Top Coat. I am not Kathy Fisher. I'm Dave Dobson sitting in for Kathy. And right now I've got Joe with me. He's with Engine Swap Supply. And well, the name pretty much says it all. Tell us what you're doing for folks out there that want to hot rod their car. Well, what we're doing is we're finding super low mileage pullouts and we're offering it to the DIY market along with all the parts you need to get it in your vehicle and get it going down the road. Now you touched on it a little bit. What sets you apart from some of the others that are out there? The fact that you can buy everything from one place and we guarantee everything. Now tell me who you're servicing here. What kind of folks want your engines and your parts? So we're really servicing the DIY market. A lot of hot rodders, a lot of resto mod guys, um, and even Jeep guys, and even people who just want replacement motors for their vehicles. And putting one of your engines in, how does that improve what came stock? Well, for the hot rodders, it's way easier to go out and start your vehicle when you want to get something to eat or just go out. Um, and you know you have the performance of the newer drivetrains, of the newer transmissions. You can go through a drive-through and you can still put your foot down on the same night. I love it. it, makes it super versatile and it's easy to install and it's easy to use. Easy to use once it's uh, under the hood there. Correct, so we provide everything to make it super easy. What are some of the things you do? Now I noticed when I went to the website, a little chat window pops up. Yeah, so we do offer a chat for just any sales questions and tech support. We also have our number on the website that you can call and get someone directly. There's always someone on the phone, it's not a machine. So that way, if you have any technical support, even if you didn't buy from us, we're always happy to help. And if you're looking for a second opinion, there's some other folks out there that are probably doing the same project as you, right? For sure, so we do have a Facebook group and other pages on our website for other customers and other people who have done swaps. So if, if you have a question, you can probably find your answer there. That's great. Now tell us what you brought in to, for show and tell here. What's on the table? So we've got a few billet pieces here. These are our newly released catch cans, or this one is. Um, so a lot of, one of the biggest problems with these Gen 5 motors is that the, the PCV system isn't really up to par. So we have, we have a catch can, a uh, nice billet piece with AN lines and a slip-on fitting so you don't have to cut, weld, or anything on your valve covers. And we also have a matching uh, reservoir to boot. And right here we have our CAN module. So it'll take the GM signal and it'll convert it to a signal that if you're, for instance, OBS, like 93, 1500 trucks, and you can have your stock gauges work with that. It also enables tap shift, amongst a few other things. And we have the ECUs here for the standalone operation uh, along with the harness. So if you have your own harness and you need someone to convert it over to standalone and your ECUs, we can take care of that. Or if you purchase from us, that's also something we offer, so you get everything just in one spot ready to go. And it was spectacular. You brought in a harness with you, and that thing, uh, it looks amazing. Thanks. Yeah, so what we do is that's actually a stock harness, like what we take off this motor here, and we would just convert it over to standalone. We reloom what needs to get reloomed. We reinforce what needs to get reinforced, 
and then even our fuse box is weather sealed so you won't have an issue with it in the engine bay. That's great. And then what else did you bring with you? And this is a billet intake manifold. Uh, so this is for more of a wild setup. Um, if you notice, it's got fuel rails for port injection. These Gen 5s have direct injection. But for anybody who wants to get real crazy, about 700 horsepower is the limit on these injectors. And if you want to go higher, safer, well, now you have the ability to add port injection and look good doing it. That's fantastic. These look great. Everything works great. What if I have a problem? What do I do? You can call us directly. You can get on that chat box you mentioned earlier, or you can get on the Facebook page. Like I said, if, if, uh, if you need an answer really quick, and we're always busy, so we try to handle everybody as fast as we can. It's probably on our Facebook page or somewhere on the website. If not, shoot us an email. You can shoot me an email directly, and we'll get you to take care of it as fast as we can. In the unlikely event that there is something actually wrong with one of your products, what do I do then? You call us. We don't have a problem sending you out a new part, if that's the case or getting it resolved as fast as we can. So if you have an engine that's bad, we'll send you a new one, it's that simple. Where do all of your products come from? So the majority of our products are made in America by smaller businesses as well. And if they're not made in the States, they're made by talented people in Australia. So like these catch cans here, they were made by uh, a group of guys in Australia, real talented people, along with the intake manifold. We ship all the time to Australia, Norway, Iceland, um, and Qatar. So all over the world, uh, if you need something, we'll make sure you can get it. Well, no matter where you are, you can find them on the web and they can ship it to you. Check them out at engineswapsupply.com. We'll be back with more Performance TV presented by Topcoat right after this. Thanks for tuning in to Performance TV. Henry Ford is widely known for pioneering mass production techniques, making cars affordable to the masses. But who designed the first successful gasoline-powered automobile in the United States? It was James Frank and Charles Duryea from Springfield, Massachusetts. The bicycle mechanics created their horseless carriage in 1893. Keep it right here on Performance TV. Performance TV coming from Borla Commerce Park. Welcome back to Performance TV presented by Top Coat. When you get a pickup truck, you're usually faced with a choice. Camper shell, protect the bed, keep things dry, or no camper shell, be able to stack things up very high in the bed. Well now, thanks to the folks at Hide Aside, you don't have to make that choice. Rick, tell us about it. Well, what we have here is a hard side soft top camper shell. You can simply remove the cover, it snaps on. You've got two bed extenders as sides. If you want to take those off, you can still drive with the bed extenders on, no cover. Or you put the cover on, you have to fit a dirt bike in, Flip a couple levers, pull a lever, another latch, drops down, and you've got a regular pickup again. So you have choices, you have options, and most importantly, it all stays in the bed, so you can adjust it on the fly. Correct, yeah. You need a camper shell down, it'll be down in just a few minutes. You need to put a pallet or something in there, you can put it right back up. So we've already got it up, and we're going to take it down. We've uh, undone a couple of things on the other side, but we're going to see how easy it is. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. It's a little Velcro right there. This part is pretty self-explanatory. You just uh, Velcro it and some snaps. I'll get in on it as well. And I can see what you're saying about how the sides come up. We're all good on this side. And we're just going to take these arms here. Oh, look at that. Ingenious. You mentioned a dirt bike. Things that you don't want people to know are back here. Correct. That's what I'm thinking about right away. The idea that like, you could put something of value in here and cover it up. We actually, this came about from having a dirt bike stolen out of the back of the truck. Um, we've had gear bags stolen, helmets, goggles, gloves. People just walk by, toolboxes. They just walk by and grab it. This prevents all of that. Excellent. And it looks like it installs pretty easily. It's actually very simple. Two pinch points, three bolts, and it's installed. You just get your arms here. You're going to fold these up. And Flip you are over there. And so the door is not necessarily just to get in. It's what enables this thing to slide down. Correct. And it gives you an access point also. Oh, it does both. Hide aside. And just like that, it you tucks away. Pickup. And this stays in the vehicle at all times. It becomes all part time. of your truck. Yep. 
and just like that you can hide the stuff that you are doing you can work on your truck and make it happen protect your bike protect your gear all that stuff with hide aside check out their website for more information time now for the lowdown with magic creeper when you're underneath a vehicle, whether it be a UTV like this one, or even a regular car, it's really nice to have a couple extra inches of ground clearance. You're gonna need it, and it's really great to be on one of these magic creepers. You can move to the right, to the left, out, in, and have that freedom of movement and flexibility that enables you to do more work. I'm checking out a couple of things under here, and it is just perfect to be able to move. And Kathy, this is a reason why this Magic Creeper is so popular. Well, not only that, Joe, I mean, a lot of times you're gonna be in on a floor like this where you can move around and that type of thing. But if you are out and about and you've had the stones and the sticks and everything else, you know, with the Magic Creeper, you're not gonna have to worry about that. It's gonna protect you from all of the dirt, all of the dust, and it doesn't have wheels. So you're not gonna worry about getting stuck. I love the fact you can just throw it in the back. If you've got an issue, if you wanna move something heavy, you can just pull it along. That's right. It's lightweight and it's puncture resistant, so you don't have to worry about the rocks or anything else. And if there happens to be some grease or dirt or whatever like that, just wipe it right off. It'll keep you clean on the ground as well. Got to always remember, though, there's only one Magic Creeper. That's right. So get the real thing. Go to their website to find out about the Magic Creeper and all the different uses at magiccreeper.com. We'll have more Performance TV right after this. When it comes to cars and trucks, performance is important, but nothing is more important than safety. The seat belt was invented back in the 1880s. The three-point seat belt was invented nearly 80 years later in 1958. But seat belts weren't mandatory until 1970, when Australia made it the law. Buckle up, because there's more Performance TV on the way. Performance TV, presented by Top Coat, is brought to you by Stage 8 Fasteners, home of the world's best locking hitter bolt. Locking kits now available for all turbo applications. Go to stage8.com. Roadrunner Performance, high performance hose and fittings. Wire Specialties, you install the engine, we wire it up. KUTV, the best defense to protect your rear wheels and suspension parts. And by Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. Welcome back to Performance TV. If you're a Jeep owner who likes to go topless, you're going to want to pay attention to this. The folks at Top Lift Pros are back with an update to their already amazing product. Barry, tell us a little bit about what you've done. Well, as we all know, the Jeeps are a lot of fun, and taking the top off makes the Jeep even more fun. What we've done is we've taken the hassle of getting your Jeep hard top off We've turned it into a very simple and easy, safe way to do that. Now, a lot of our viewers already have this product. It's amazing. One person lifts it up. You've made it even more easy. Show us how. Well, what happens is, is as, as we do normally with it, is we push it into position, we prep it, and then we push on the lever like you had mentioned. But now we prep it, position it, and now it's just a matter of pushing the button. Look at that, one touch, simple, easy. You can do it by yourself. And so you wanna go outside with your Jeep topless, it's gonna be a lot easier to do it. I can imagine a lot of people who have Jeeps really love this product because it just opens up their options. Oh, absolutely. One of my favorite compliments that we get from people all the time uh, is this is the best money that they spent on their um, on their Jeep. And that, that just, that makes it uh, worthwhile to see people that uh, take this and use it like that. And so from top Top on to top off, how long are we talking? Less than two minutes. See, and to me, that makes every reason you bought the Jeep come to the forefront. You can do it quickly. You can get out there, and it seems like you'd be able to store it pretty easily as well. Yeah, absolutely. Once you take the hardtop off the Jeep, it just stays there. So it, it comes off in seconds. It stores safely instantly, and then you just position this in the garage, and it, it, it saves space. It takes up very little room in the garage. And it looks very sturdy also. So rolling around with the top on the Top Lift Pro, seems like it would be pretty simple. Oh, it is. It's, it's extremely simple. We, we've designed this with four independent casters, so it rolls and it's very easy to maneuver whether you're on uh, like a concrete floor or on pavers or, or you know, uh, unimproved surfaces. It works wonderfully. And for people who already have the previous version, you guys are selling this as an add-on, correct? So if they're at home, they see this and go, oh my goodness, I love that, yeah, they can add it on. Absolutely. This is just, this is brand new. We just, just came out and it's a power assist motor, so that 
up. You can just, as you can see, just push a button and does it for you, does all the work for you. No need to go through a lot of work, heavy lifting, literally just one button, it comes up, you roll it back, you're in the Jeep, you're on the road. To me, that is the ultimate top lift pros. You guys have got a good thing going on, but I gotta see it in action, so let's kick it on over to Kathy. You know, Joe, with the Top Lift Pro, it's such a cool product, but it's even better to see it in action. I've had an opportunity to use this when you guys first came out with it, and it was super simple just to pop it up using body weight. But now you've got this button, Fred. Right. One finger is really, really cool. Right. So essentially, we've adapted an actuator that just helps remove the top with the touch of a finger and it's all battery operated, self-contained, and we also adapted a trickle charger on there to keep your battery charged at all times. And then when you wanna take your top off, it's a topless in two minutes or less. Two minutes or less. And is there any particular way that we need to roll this in? I mean, obviously you've done this quite a few times. Do we need to be careful of how we locate this? So it just goes in center and towards the back, and that's it. And so on a two door, uh, you really don't need to use your support rails, but we always encourage that for safety reasons. And on a four door, we have uh, an extension rail for it. All right, so some of us aren't lucky enough to have a whole lot of you know, room in our garages or whatever. What about storage with this unit? Absolutely phenomenal. So this is the best device on the market, hands down. Storage wise, you're not gonna lose any room in your garage. You can park your Jeep in the garage anywhere you want and put this right in front of it. You can touch your front bumper right to the back legs and boom, it stores right over the hood of your Jeep. No loss of space. That's right, so that way we're not hanging this from the rafters or whatever. We can use this outside if we need to. Extremely efficient. Yes, with one person being able to do it with one finger, we can have the top off in minutes because we bought these Jeeps to get out and enjoy them. Yes, so this then, that's what many of our customers say, it's the best money they've ever spent on their Jeep, period. Wow, to be able to do this, and, and of course, if you can buy the unit the way it is here, or if you want to retrofit, it, one you may already have. You can check out their website for more at topliftpros.com. You know, that's all the time we have for this week's episode of Performance TV. If you have a product that you would like to see us feature on the show, just shoot an email over to jeff at masterstv.com and we'll see you next week for more of Performance TV.